What's going on everyone? So today we're going to be mounting the vise onto the machine. I've gone and um, turned some parts to basically clamp the vise down to the table. I've used some of the existing holes that were already on the machine. I have had to drill one hole just to uh, for the back of the vise, just because <laughs> the vise wasn't quite long enough to span across the table to get to the other hole. Let's do it. Well that didn't fit, so uh, back to the lay. Sweet, well that fits, so we'll chuck it back in the machine, turn a bit of that rust off, and then we'll uh, drill some holes in the end of it. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, sweet. Well, that's the holes drilled in the end of it, so uh, I guess it's time to tap the holes. Alright, well that's the hole tapped in the end of that one, so we're all ready to go for that, that front bolt. I've already made the back part of it, um, the exact same way I did it. I just turned, turned the small diameter, turned the big diameter, drilled a hole through it, tapped the hole, chopped it off, flipped it around, and then faced the front off. That one there will fit in the back of the vise. Oh well, so I suppose we'll uh, mount the vise back onto the table. Oh, so there it is, that's the vise mounted on the machine. It's got a bit of, a bit of wiggle room to it, um, so I can sort of have a bit of adjustment to be able to tram it in so that it, it works parallel to the axis, um, this axis. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. So I guess that's it for this week's video. I've um, got the vise all mounted on the machine, be able to do some more cuts. And so if you uh, enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. But if you want to make any comments about the machine or any questions for me or general comments, um, leave them down below and then subscribe to the channel.